Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on this little cutie right here, which is what my husband got me for my birthday. This is the Gucci Marmont card case. Um, and it's a zip around. This is in the Matalassi, I think that's how you pronounce it, leather. As you can see, it has like that kind of chevron print to it. And I'm sorry, I have a brand new camera and I'm trying to get used to it and I'm trying to not look at like the flippy part, the actual screen. I have to look here, so bear with me. I'm trying, I'm still getting used to it all. Um, yeah, so he picked this up from the Gucci in Holt Renfrew. Um, it's not currently on the website. There are some similar ones that I'll link down below, but I do have the gift receipt here, which does have, I think is the SKU for it. So if you are interested in it, maybe you can ask your SA. I think that's the SKU right there if it focuses those numbers kind of right Ooh, focus camera please right there um i'll also sort of type it down below uh so you can um take it in or you can phone or inquire about it if you want so um that's it there um, the actual product dimensions, I did measure it. This is about four inches across this way and then about three inches up and down and then close to about an inch in um, sort of depth there. It's very similar to the Louis Vuitton Multicartes, uh, the Zippy Multicartes. Um, that one has four components on the inside, whereas this one actually has a little bit more, but dimension-wise, it's actually very similar. So if you have that or you've seen it, then this is actually pretty close in size. So like I said, there's just like the zipper all the way around and then the back has one um, external card case, which I love. Um, typically in this one here, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put my credit card that I use the most or I'll put a ticket stub as well with it if I go parking somewhere and I need to kind of keep that guy handy, I'll always know where it is. So this is it and then if you open it up and i do like the gg hardware color it's like that antique kind of gold which is really nice um and same with sort of this it's not like the super shiny kind of gold so um open it up and then you have nine slots on the inside here so nine sort of accordion folds and then the two compartments there it has just like a a nylon type material and it says Gucci there Gucci made in Italy and then I'm assuming that's like the actual code the date code and the product code underneath there um, yeah so it's sort of bare bones on the inside um, so let's see what fits inside here because a ton of stuff can fit in here so what I have is I have nine cards here these are all just sort of like rewards cards and typically when i use this wallet i have been using it for about a week now is when i open it i'll actually open it so that the gg is facing me and then so i put all my cards like the front face um facing this way so i can sort of see what i have so let's put all nine of these in i'm going to try and do it as fast as possible so that i don't waste your time and now Please note, you can also put two cards in each little accordion part, which I'll show you after. But right now, I'm just putting one card into each little accordion slot. Okay, almost done. This is great if you do have a lot of cards. I typically don't um, carry that many cards with me, like the loyalty and rewards cards, just because I, can, I find that I can put the app on my phone. Now, one thing I will mention is that you can see that this card is sort of standing up. Um, no matter what card I put in there, it always does that. I'm not too sure why. I think it's just the angle of the actual accordion. I think it just sort of begins to hit all the other cards in there. So I will move that one to the front over here. And then in that slot there, what I've been doing is I've been putting like two smaller cards and then just standing them straight up like that. So there you see, I have nine cards in there um and it zips up super duper easily now what i was saying is that you can see that each accordion accordion sort of slot has one card put in but i can easily put one on the other side sorry if this focuses so there's it's in the one slot there but i could put another one um on the other side i don't know if i have another kind of card 
I have like a Louis Vuitton perfume card I can show you. So let's, whoops, slide that in. This is a bit bigger than a credit card though. So I don't know if that will fit. I need to find a plain credit card. Mm. Okay, I have like one of these um, like visas that you get as a gift, like the $100 ones, but it's empty now. So if I slide that in, oh, it, that one kind of sticks up there. So I have to put it, I think, in the middle. Oh, there you go. See, I just had to push it down farther. So you can see now that this one here has two kind of cards in it. But I don't think I'd ever do that. I just don't carry, like I said, that many cards. So there's nine in there now. Um, does cash fit in? Yes. I don't actually have any cash on me, but I do have a check. And what I will tell you is that if you want to put cash in your this card holder, you can't put it in any of the middle ones like this because it sticks up. You have to put your cash, which is going to be have to be folded, into one of the end slots. So either on either side. And I'm not too sure why. I think it's the slots are just sort of bigger on that side, on the ends. So either side will fit cash, like I said, but the cash will need to be folded up. So there you go, just like that. And cash is in there. Now, can you fit coins in here? I wouldn't. I have some coins here, just because if you take a look at the bottom of the, um, where the accordion is, it doesn't actually, like, um, it's not, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's not sewn down. It like raises up like that. So I feel like if you put coins, you could easily lose it. But for the sake of the video, let's show you. So, I mean, I guess you could. It'd be a little bit tricky. Maybe if you only had a couple coins like this, it would work. And then it still zips up nice and easily. So I guess coins do fit in there. Um, just note that it's not actually sort of, like I said, sewn to the very bottom there. So they could slip out. So maybe if you had um, like a loony or like a quarter for your shopping cart or something like that, that would be okay. But I wouldn't overfill this with coins. And like I said, in the back here, this is where I'll typically put the credit card that I use the most. Just it's so easy to actually have it there. You can also put your ID and it's easy to kind of slide out because it has this little opening here so you can just put your finger in there as opposed to trying to like dig this out because especially since it's new it's still like the leather stall fairly um, sort of tight I guess you would say so yeah this is it here I super um, I super duper love this guy it's so cute I've been using it like I said for about a week um, the only thing that I was a little bit worried about as well was like the leather just because it is like that smooth kind of leather and um, you know, sort of it being around in my bag and hitting other things, I was worried that um, it might get scratched up. But if you do follow me, and then you'll know that I've been using this wallet right here, which I still really love. This is the Saint Laurent um, Fragment Wallet. You can see that the leather on this one is also like a smooth leather, and there's like a couple scuffs you can kind of see. But I really like, I've thrown this in my work backpack and everywhere, and it's I mean, it's still pretty good. Um, so I, I feel like the leather is very similar, so I don't feel like they'll, this one will get scratched up as much either. You can kind of see there the size next to my fragment wallet. This guy is obviously a lot smaller, but the one thing that I had an issue with with this one was when I put all my cards in, sometimes I couldn't find it in this little small little space here. Um, but I still really do love this wallet and I could use these two together as well. I could put like my change and some dollar bills in this one. I could also put my cards in here. So these two can actually work together. Um, you could solely use this as a card case as well if you wanted to and not put any money or change or anything in there. But I do love this, so if you have any questions on this little cutie right here, please let me know, um, and I will link whatever I can down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!